Aloha, my name is Sunny Savage and I'm here to show you the safest way that we know possible at this time to eat haulikoa. Now this is a shrub or small tree and in Hawaii here we call it haulikoa, but of course it has many other names and its scientific name is Lucana leucocephala. Now I want to focus on eating the leaves today and in order to do that you can eat either the older leaves or the younger leaves. Either one is fine. Um, it's pretty easy to just go ahead and strip them off like that uh, or you can kind of pull off a whole entire little piece like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest some of these up. And I will meet you in my kitchen. All right, so I harvested up the Hallikoa leaves and they do have a mild toxin in them. So you can choose to just cook with these right away, but you don't want to exceed 10% of your diet in unprocessed halikoa. So if you want to remove all of the mild toxin that's in there, the best is really a combination of water. That's really the most effective, a 36 hour soak in water, um, and then a heat treatment after that. You can also use fermenting. Um, so I just put them in water, and one thing to notice is that when you put them in water, uh, right away they'll float to the surface, but after some time they are going to kind of submerge down in the water. Because you're soaking for 36 hours, you're going to want to change out the water. Otherwise, it'll start to kind of get fermenty. Um, so after 18 to 24 hours, uh, rinse them out, you know, put them in your, your strainer, your colander, um, give them a nice rinse, put them back into the bowl and add more water. This is not a situation where you have to, adding more water is better. They just need to be in some water. And I will typically cover them with a clean hand towel and then put them onto a shelf somewhere out of the way in the kitchen. And then you can use them in your recipes.